Hey, hey there, Cancer. This is Joy with Joy of the World here to take an intuitive peek into the energies going on around you. Friends and family, welcome back. And if you are new to this channel, click that subscribe button down below. It is free as always. And if you would like to be notified anytime I post new videos, just ring that little bell out beside it and they will let you know. Also, because the way YouTube works, and these are timeless reads, therefore they are energy sessions, they don't get circulated quite as easily as some of the other ones. So if you would just give it a big thumbs up and like it, if you do decide that you enjoy the content we provide here, but also share, you can cycle it out, you can add it to a playlist, you can share it with yourself, whatever it is, and that begins to create momentum, or you can just leave a comment down below, color my world with your love. Tell me what's going on with you, baby. I'd love to know what's going on, on the other side of this lens, love. So, with that being said, Cancer, if you could see the spread, look at, look at, look at. Can you see all that? No. Oh, good Lord. I, I, I need to do some more yoga. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to let you peek because you want to see. I know you, Cancer. You're like, we do, Joy. We do. We're full of passion. We want to know what's going on. Tell us now. We want to know. Crab eyes all looking around. Tell us every direction because we can only see this much. We can only see like 280. Tell us the rest of the story. And I'm like, well, well. So if you want to know, really, this is a bit of the backstory. I don't know if we're going to talk too much because you are calling for a different deck. But Big Papa, Big Daddy Saturn is coming on in. He belongs to everybody. We are in the solar system, in the cosmos. These are the songs being sung around us. And he is leveling up, coming in to show his partnership. Do you see that divine union there? Okay. So with all this been going on, he's kind of been getting a bad rap. You know, kind of getting a jab a little bit. And he's like, oh, I still have eyes for you. He's like, I have the eyes to see exactly what you're asking for. You're talking about full moon, high priest, high priestess, that type of energy. You're like, bump, bump, pointing at the angelarium over here. You're like, we want to know everything, Joy. Zip it up. Bring it to us. And I'm like, whoo. So anyways, he's not going to speak directly, but he is coming with an inference. He's coming with his presence to afford you this. And what I've seen so far, whoever knows, it can change at any point. But so far along in the previous signs, he's been coming along with a little divining finger, just like a dowsing rod when they try and find energy or they try and find water. He's trying to find the one little snag, the one little thing that is hanging him up from coming all the way through your channel reaching into your earth and channeling back up all that you've stored inside yourself, all of your treasury, all that is beneath your feet in this earth. And you were like, it is love, joy. It is love. I want love, heaven on earth here. I'm so full of passion. I am so full of passion. Give me my passion. I'm like, I know, friend. I know. I know. But that's the thing. You are hung up over here. Even though you've come over to new waters, you're still hung up on this idea and you haven't even noticed that you're coming into the Princess of Pentacles and the Prince of Wands, into these new beginnings, okay, of your power and your passion. This is definitely here. I am quite aware. Your power and your passion, that's what you're talking about. You're like, that's right. That's right, Joy. That's what we are talking about. You are spicy at night. Do you eat nachos? I don't know what's going on, but you're all spicy. You see, you're like, I am open. We are open. We're opening up this whole big world, but you, you're also waking up a wand. You're touching it with your feet, and that's you trying to get down into the earth, into your ancient storage system, into the ancient stars stored inside of the earth. Hmm. I got to sit on the other side of this lens and dig out these nuggets you be dropping, baby. They like diamonds. They like crystals going all over the place. I don't mean the crystals, K-R-Y, that you eat. I'm talking the C-R-Y that you got in your drawers, on your tabletops, wherever. If you're a Cancer and you don't have a few crystals, I am quite surprised because you love things that shine like that, things from the heart of the earth. And you're like, there's that warm, saucy spice. There's that honey pot. Okay, going on for you here. And look what we're touching into when we're saying that, the Three of Cups. Now, the Three of Cups in this, it has nothing to do with the third party. It has nothing to do with other things going on. The third cup is the relationship. The third cup is the connection. It has its own space, its own existence. And these are, it's coming out of the overflow of two people who are fully satisfied in themselves. So... I see why it's zipping and whipping and moving around. It's it's like a, uh, a, well, a whip. It's that lash. It's like that Scorpio, that scorpionic tail going on. There's something that bit you, something that stung you. That's why you are very much leaning into this. This is so scorpionic. They've been teaching us about the eyes, the I am this, and knowing that you are this. 
you are everything you desire. Okay. And if you're not, bring it forward. Often it's not that we haven't done enough. It's that we hide in some, that we're suppressing some, that we hold ourselves back like all your passion. <laughs> all your passion that you're talking about, Cancer, because you already know you're prosperous. You're like, I know that. I know I'm powerful and prosperous. I want my passion. I want my passion. Can you see me doing my dance for my hermetic cup, calling to my divine partner? I'm like, I do. I do. Don't you see I'm ready for heaven here on earth? Don't you know I've waited a long time, Joy? Don't you know? And you're doing this. I deserve this. Then I'm like, okay, friend, open your collarbones. There is no reward, no incoming influx of full divine. This is almost like your movie screen, right? This is like uh, when they show movies out in those big fields, it has to be projected on a big old screen. And this is your screen that all this is coming forth and coming onto. So open your collarbones. Open your collarbones. Ooh, that's what your love is going to do here. And I'm going to tell you, Cancer, man or woman, this is you right here. And they're helping this love coming in. This idea, this knowing is coming in to help open your collarbones. But surrender. Okay, we got a little more unwrapping going on down here. Because you're like, well, this is my honey pot first. It's my heart. When I can trust them, I will let them in. That's the thing. It's a building of a relationship. You'll know because you'll start to overflow. You'll know because you'll see overflow in their life. You'll see the abounding in li their life, like in the testament of, of how others speak well about them, about how well they speak to others, about how they treat the waiter or the waitress or how they'll treat the person who's bagging their groceries or uh, in the comings and goings and doings of life, how their family members speak of them, how they speak to their family members. It's all that interconnectedness and all that going on. But you're like, you had had your heart clean out when you were fairly young. That's what I know. In the beginning stages and that puberty and all that stirring up. And you're like, my passion. I'm like, that's right. Mm. Some of the first ideas of love. And that divine, ooh, there we go. Look at this. I've never seen these two come out together. Some of you are going to be charging up a love connection from when you were young. We're talking about middle school, junior high, somebody from back in there. And you're like, don't go digging and looking through their Facebook or whatever. It's going to happen. That's the thing. Big Papa, he's talking about when you open up your collarbones, when you allow this energy, this opening of self, this, this review of, of being able to say to yourself, I am ready. I am beautiful. I am divine. I want to be seen my full self. It's not, not just about just sharing the lower chakras yet. It isn't that. It's, it's allowing yourself to be seen fully and completely. Do you see why this looks like that? I don't. You know, the interesting thing is, is this was going to be the cover, the cards at the front. And I suppose it still could be, but this is beautiful. I wonder if it silenced to you like it has me. Both of y'all are looking towards this and looking for this. Not everybody is at somebody from that age, you know, 12, 13, 14, 15, around there. Um, some of you, some of you, the man's going to be younger than the woman. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Some of you, he's taller than you, okay? Like a head above at least. That's some of what's going on here, and you need to know that. Because to those of you that hear it, it's for you. All right. So it's about him opening up his mind, being ready to receive and uh, doing the spiritual divining and not just like the sweet home oh, that. No, it could be your spicy part. It could be understanding and having creativity and ideas and passion, right? Um, um, being excited, adventurous, spontaneous, that type of thing. It could be opening up some of that. Say they're a Capricorn, right? And they're learning to be spontaneous because they've been traveling that road of work working ambition, working ambition so long that more it's like, oh, now I can just go forward and go sideways and go this ways and that ways. I can be a Wonka Vader. That can be some of your opening here as the man. But as the woman is being able to open in these lower realms, the full-on connection that this person isn't going to take away or diminish your power and your abundance, your proliferating power, okay? What I will let you know from what I see here is it only opens it even more. It facilitates even more. It facilitates the full opening, the full alignment, and that's how you get to heaven on earth. You just thought you wanted some lines, Strata. I'll look at that in a minute. I'm not even seeing the flash of it. Okay? 
but this is where you want to talk. I almost put them away because I didn't look at what it was. Opening, opening, and now let me take a look. Going on your yellow brick road. Mm -hmm. Choosing to take peace in this, choosing to let yourself develop in this love. This isn't someone who's just going to rush you headlong and take advantage of you in that. Remember hermetic cup, hermetic staff, that type of energy. But you're wondering about this part of your spirit. This is, this is kind of the guardian of your soul, all right? This is like that chamber that is watching over like a, a minotaur um, kind of going, you aren't going to get past me. It's like he has this axe almost, this, this he, this energy inside of you that is like, you aren't going to get past my heart. You aren't going to get down into my treasury and into my lower realms. You're not going to hit me where it hurts, which is interesting because cancer is so much heart, but it's, it's your, your power and your prosperity that is getting you right here, cancer. So I want to know something about that. We're going to go ahead. No, mm -mm. we're going to get a rune on this. Tell us about this hermit. Yeah, definitely a rune. I see it. Partridge in a pear tree. So about your cherry blossoms, your cheerfulness your proliferation, your ideas, your dreams, uh, your secrets, your secrets. It was just moving the cars that you finally told me like, Shh, I don't want them to know my secret joy. And I'm like, put us on that plural, your secrets, your secrets. How romantic you are, how deeply in love you fall, how you kind of know the moment you see somebody and then you lock it all up and try and suppress it and then make them go through these stages of, you know, knocking out the cynicism, getting past the monitor and, and you're like, yeah, because I'm so protective of what's down my lower rounds, my sunshine down there, my treasury, my ideas, my romanticism, my, my blossoming heart, my abundance, my, my sweet self. Because if they know I'm sweet, they might take advantage of me. That man or woman, this is the message coming in now. This is you, Cancer, okay? They might take advantage of my sweet self. And I'll get hurt. You know what, friend? I got to tell you, you've seen the cards here. The, that's what I love about the Cosmic Tarot is there's no disguise. There's no um, shadows of turning. It's very clear very clear. For you, it's about starting this journey. For them, it's about coming together and, and coming to the point of being ready, okay? Of choosing themselves, choosing now, choosing today. And this is incoming, incoming energy. You've been the clearest of all the reads. It's fantastic, Cancer. Like, we know. I love you. I love you. You got to the heart of the matter right away, but this is about journey communication. Oh, reunion. Remember those of you that I talked about? There's reunion on the foreground here. Perfect union for others, right? For everybody, that's not the same. Some of you, it's someone you haven't even met yet. But look at you. Mates. Your mates. Soulmates. Love mates. Classmates. I don't know. Shoemates. It's just all that. Remove resistance. Sorry, y'all got something coming across my screen there. Remove resistance, let go of the past. This was that bit of the protection of your expansion. If there's someone knew your secrets, they could hurt you. They could tell other people because you've never fully entrusted anyone with it. Like this person that's a BFF, you've told a portion. Your mother knows a portion. Um, your journal, your diary knows a portion. This knows a portion, that knows a portion. And you know what you've called in here, friend? Take that nervousness and be aware that it's real. That is heaven on earth. This is what you've rated for. This is what you've poured yourself into in life. Okay? That's what we got to say. Oh, yeah, that's right. Let's take a look at the bottom. Oh, we got the queen of cups. Look who's down there. Queen of cups. So totally possible. Look at your crown made of starfish. Look at that regeneration. And they regenerate from their heart, from their center. Bringing yourself into that perfect balance and not just the perfect balance, the perfect opening. And I hear him. He's literally, 
this is the first sound that he's made. And he just said, ah, you just soothe the soul of Big Papa, the Time Master, Big Daddy Saturn, the one who holds the greatest secrets of all. You just let him in, friend. Get ready. I'm coming, he says. Hey, leave your comments down below. Share because you care, all right? Let me in. Color my world with your love. I love you. Talk soon.